it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. So right now, we're gonna do a 90s inspired makeup look, routine, something. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. Uh, if you haven't watched my ColourPop uh, mystery box and haul, then go watch that, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna link it below. And uh, that's where I got all these products. So we're gonna use just ColourPop today for this fun 90s thing. Um, I am freshly showered, I exfoliated and washed my face. I feel fresh as a damn daisy, okay? <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get into this. I'm just gonna adjust just a little. Perfect. I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> okay. I'm actually gonna move you guys in since we're gonna do makeup. So, okay. We're gonna start with the face. So I've got the Papaya Face Milk and the Vino Rejuvenating Serum Boost. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda put these in my hand and mix them. So I'm gonna do some of the face milk and then a couple drops of the serum I'm gonna mix those two together because they said you could do that now we're gonna moisturize <laughs> just wipe my entire hand on my face you know things Can let the kitties in here in just a second. Cause I have the day off today. My roommate's at work. So they can come in. Oh, I have a, I have a hair on my face. I love that. I have multiple hairs on my face, but that one's not supposed to be there. Well, none of them are supposed to be there. That's why I pluck them until they're gone, but let me let the cats in. Okay, so I've been looking up 90s makeup trends and like 90s makeup looks and there was quite a few different styles there was a lot of like frosted eyeshadow dark super dark brows uh lots of black eyeliner <laughs> so i've got a few examples up on the screen over there we're just gonna get into it so we've moisturized hallelujah skin feels hydrated and just beautiful we're gonna use this ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer god dang one of them days y'all i've already received four texts from work today <laughs> on my day off love that for me this is probably gonna be too light Apparently I'm not, I'm not fair, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. It's a tinted moisturizer, so my thought is I can work it in to my skin and it'll kind of just blend, maybe take down some of the dark spots and we'll go from there just trying to work it into my skin a little bit cats are gonna be in the boxes from this ColourPop stuff because that's what they do they're cats so if you hear crunkling that's them all right so you can see that that lightened my skin for sure. So next time I would go a little bit darker, but this is fair, one end. Hi, love. Um, so yeah, that's on. We're good to go. Okay, so then we're going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Creamy Concealer. This is one of my go-tos. for like everyday wear. Hi Harriet. 
Okay, baby, I love yous, <laughs> but you can't just sit in the middle of everything. Oh, hi, yeah, yeah. Well, I just gotta do her face though, so you can't really be here, okay? Where's Athena? Where'd she go? <clears throat> All right, I'm trying to look at you. To blend in my concealer and that's not gonna work. Oh, I have that. This I was gonna use for base, so don't go on my eyelids with my concealer. So you know, I've I've been doing a color corrector under my eye almost like for over a year. And I may not need it with that tinted moisturizer and that concealer. It's it's not too terrible. I think that's okay. I think we're good. Okay. You know what I lost was the eyebrow pencil. There it is. Okay. So, ew, what's on me? Where'd you come from? Um, I'm going to use the Bronco Creme Shadow. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids as kind of my base. Because it's kind of a creamy sort of flesh tone for me. So I'm just going to kind of use that to color my entire eye area. Not what it's intended for, but for me, it's gonna work. Okay, so we've got that on there. You can see that it's kind of evened out my eyes so that they're, you know, roughly the color they should be. And we love that. <laughs> so let's go in with the brow pencil. Now, to me, it looks like brows were either super thin or super bushy. So I'm just gonna color mine in the way I like. Oops. I remember the Gwen Stefani, Pam Anderson uh, brows. Super thin, pencil thin. But since we are, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want this to be like full on 90s like oh I remember the gross 90s like bad stuff but kind of gonna go and kind of mix it with my my normal so I don't want to look too crazy you know yes I do I want to look crazy all the time oh who keeps telling you I don't they're lying okay that brow pencil is actually really nice it 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 helps me keep like a subtle-ish brow. It's not too terribly dark or like, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Do you though? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in with Big Poppy. So we've got some nice oranges. It. This is like fall 90s grunge-ish look, okay? Um, now me, I wasn't aware, uh, I wasn't aware to bird the I wasn't allowed to wear makeup when I was that age. Um, <clears throat> so in the 90s, I would have been 9 to 19. Uh, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, anything like that. My mom didn't allow it. So, you know, we're just, uh, that's why I love makeup now. I'm going to go into Cali Love. I'm going to put that right here. Now, I know that in the 90s, for me, uh, I would see a lot of blue frosted shadow. I just, I can't do that to myself. So <laughs> I'm going to kind of go with this smudged out grungy look. And we're going to do my hair too. So I'm just taking a lighter hand up to there. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully this keeps focusing on me. I'm the important thing, camera. Jeez. I'm gonna go darker and heavier around my crease and then kind of lighten it up up here <clears throat> I'm sorry about the throat I've had kind of a cough for a couple days it's not corona I think it's just like allergies I'm gonna go ahead and take it all the way out here I can see there's quite a bit of shadow <laughs> in these photos a <sighs> little bit of kick up in the pan no big deal but again I'm gonna darken up that crease okay now I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to go into this color here, Groovin. Maybe this isn't as, as 90s inspired as I, as I dreamed it would be. You know, didn't really think ahead. Kind of backpedaling on myself. That sucks. I still want it to be 90s-ish inspired. So I'm I'm sorry. I pulled up a couple grungy uh, makeup things from the 90s, so I can look at those. So a couple more things we've got from ColourPop here that we're definitely gonna use because it's very 90s. Um, I've got the ColourPop liquid liner in black. I'm gonna do a fairly thick line just along my lash line. And then I'm going to take the black gel liner and I'm gonna do my, my water line and my bottom lash. Okay, I'm gonna go in and smudge that a little bit in just a second. Sister, you can't be up here, baby. I love you, but no. All right, I'm just gonna smudge that out just a little. Okay. Now, I don't have a bra. Oh, I might have a bronzer from ColourPop. Hold on. Okay. I do have a bronzer from ColourPop in my custom palette that I made. I'm just going to add a little bit. Just kind of take down that whitish tone that we put on with that <laughs> fair tinted moisturizer. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like we also could have used this a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to add some shimmer, too. Uh, this was, sorry, this was the Super Shock Cheek in Pearlized. And then I've got the Pressed Powder Cheek on the Horizon Blush. Okay. Very nice. All right, to finish up the eyes, we're going to use the Act Natural Defining Mascara. Again, I'm not sure if this is actually a 90s look. I'm just taking cues from some photos I looked at and a little bit of my memory. Plus, the hair is going to tie it all together. That mascara is nice. I like it. I like this wand. Ooh, you know what we can actually do? I'm not going to bother with my bottom lashes. <clears throat> we can go in with this on my eyes. Just 
take a little on my pinky. We can get some of that frosted look in with this. There we go. There's that frosted look. It especially seems like they love the uh, the frost shiny look right on that bone there. That orbital bone. So there we go. That's nice. Now I feel like the most important part of a 90s look is going to be a dark lip. So we're going to take the uh, lippy pencil in Field Day. And I saw a TikTok trip trick that was like to darken the outsides of your lips to make them look fuller. I mean that sort of works. Then we're gonna take the lippy stick in poison. All right. Ooh, this is very vampy. So vampy. Last thing I want to do is take this shimmering dry oil. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. It's gonna drip everywhere. I'm gonna highlight my cheeks with this. Down the center of my nose, on my forehead. I feel like glitter was a big thing in the 90s too, so like if you had glittery, shiny skin, you were just everything to everyone. What I'm also going to do is put some on my shoulders and on my clavicle area, my chesticle top region. What am I even saying? I don't even know. I'm sorry. I just don't know what to do with myself when I have a day off anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the hair. Do you guys use these wet brushes? They are so, so good. Okay, the battery died at just the perfect time, you know. So, we've got four of these butterfly clips. So what I'm gonna do is try to part my hair down the middle. <clears throat> which I'm really bad at. Where is it? Where is the center of my face? So as I said, it's my day off, but I've already got four texts from work this morning. So, you know, we're doing great. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Oh, big news to share with you guys. God, I can't believe I didn't think about this until now. No longer have two jobs I'm down to just one it's great um, the new girl at my old job is amazing and I don't have to go in there anymore she's awesome uh, she took to the job very easily and I'm super thankful that that is no longer a stressor for me all right so then I'm going to part the halves in half. Okay. And my sister was much better at this than me. But what I would do is twist a little bit and then put the butterfly in to hold. And do the same over here. Ouch. 
twist a little bit. Butterfly to hold. Hmm, it's not looking great. There we go. Maybe, am I not doing this right? I feel like this is what I used to do. I guess it's more like that. That feels like super far back on my head though. No, that's about right. Okay. Sorry. Talking myself through it. I feel like we also used to have more than just four. <laughs> like, probably five or six. Okay, let's make that look a little bit better. This one goes a little higher. It's not really working, is it? I mean, it's not terrible. This butterfly clip is hidden, though. Let me, let me. Let me re, re refigure this. Let me just do less. And I start the twist way up here. This, maybe it's just one twist. That feels more like it. And then this one. Just one twist. Yeah, I feel like that's more. Okay, hold on. Let me fix it. <laughs> you guys know I don't ever like do my hair. So this is newer for me, different. Strange, unusual. It's more up here. I also didn't start dyeing my hair till I was out, out of high school. getting the right angle I want on this one. Okay. I feel like that's as good as we're going to get. I mean, I can kind of see it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm too old for this. <laughs> Is that a thing? Being too old for things? Hold on, I feel like we're gonna try something else. My hair didn't really dig being like that. We're not gonna twist, we're just gonna put them in. Look, I, okay, hold on, I gotta show you this picture. So, my sister made me this cute scrapbook at one point. So I gotta show you this picture. Do you see her hair? That's what it used to look like. Sorry, Carrie. I'm showing this. That's me. That's my brother-in-law, Josh. I think this might have been like my graduation party or something. 6-1701. No, it would have been her graduation party. So 
So I would have been 20, she would have been 18. Who is texting me? Maybe we also just like do it like this. That's fun. That seems very 90s to me for some reason. I kind of love this. Well, that was my 90s, not so 90s inspired uh, <laughs> ColourPop full face. I'm <laughs> really happy with this lip. The hair, not so much, you know, like, can we just go back to being 40 year old Christy and not live in the past? snarl out. Now we're just like really pretty fall look. You know? It works. I'm actually, I don't hate this. I don't hate it at all. I'm actually like super happy with it. With this makeup look and my hair looks great today. Guys, we're doing it. We're zhuzhing the hair. Look, hold on. We're gonna have so much volume and stuff. Look at me. I'm hot. <laughs> anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have some makeup looks you want me to try out, you can send them to me. Um, I'm, I'm fairly good about checking Twitter and Instagram a couple times a week. <laughs> Not very often. Uh, or send me a Snapchat, I guess. I'm not just, I'm just not on social media as much as I used to be. I'm sorry. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.